Hi everyone and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you once again for giving us this opportunity to come together and ponder on God's Word, spend these few moments in prayer. Psalms 24, verse 7 through 10. Lift up your heads, you gates, be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates, lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord Almighty, he is the King of glory. The gates of Jerusalem was quite a story to tell. It was a story of royalty, glory, splendor and victory. From the glory days of Israel's great king, King David, Psalms 24 reminds us that the gates of Jerusalem were important for God's people beyond giving protection and access to the city. In Psalms 24, gates of the holy city are personified for welcoming the coming king. A jubilant reception awaits the king of glory, the Lord Almighty. The doors are open, the gates are lifted high. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, says the psalm, emphasizing that the entrance isn't high enough to accommodate the glory of the one true king, the king of all kings. The Hebrew word translated glory in Psalms 24 is kabod, which means weight. It carries the connotation of solemnity and power. Calling God the King of Glory means He is most awesome, the most powerful King, and He should be taken seriously. King of Glory means that glory starts and ends with God. As the King of Glory, God performs undisputable acts of authority. His glory can be a peace in time of war. His glory and shelter and protection in times of storms. As humans, we should want to see God's glory in our lives. We must desire to experience God's glory in our lives. No one can make the glory of God come into our lives but only God. Our task is to spread the news of our Lord Jesus Christ. People may ask us, who is this King of Glory? As followers of the King, who calls us into His rule and reign, we have quite a story to tell. Today as we worship, we may hear these special words in the reading of Psalms 24. Though our earthly worship may fall short, the matchless King of Heaven, the Lord Almighty, graciously receives our praise and worship. What a joy it is to know that God receives our praise and He inhabits in the praises of His people. Let's pray. Father, we thank You. Thank You for this opportunity to worship You, to praise You, God. Lord, we pray that we will continue each day of our lives to praise you, to experience your glory, your presence in our lives, in our families. Lord, we pray that we will grow in greater intimacy with you, giving you glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.